Now at 6 o'clock, the Hartford is giving $10 million over five years to help the Asylum Hill section of the capital city. Yeah, this incredible announcement comes as the Hartford marks its 100th anniversary. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live in Hartford right now with more on how all of this money will get spent. Mike. Well, Mark and Aaron, the Hartford also surveyed uh, residents and nonprofits in the Asylum Hill area just to answer that question. And they figured out uh, some needs, including a need for job retraining and for housing. This is a really significant commitment to the Asylum Hill neighborhood from the Hartford. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin celebrating the news that the Hartford is donating 10 million over five years to its host city. Specifically, the insurance giant is giving 2 million annually over five years to the Asylum Hill neighborhood. The Hartford's headquarters have been in Hartford since 1810, including the last 100 in Asylum Hill. A spokeswoman for the Hartford said in a statement, the strong partnerships we've built with nonprofits in the neighborhood have positioned us well to take action and continue to foster a safe, strong, and successful community. I think they went about this the right way. They engaged with the residents, with the neighborhood revitalization zone, with organizations that operate in Asylum Hill. The Hartford also surveyed people and nonprofits in Asylum Hill to find out the biggest needs. The funding will go towards job retraining, housing aid, and public safety. They'll work with nonprofits like the United Way and Village for Families and Children, as well as the Asylum Hill Neighborhood Association and the city. I'm also looking forward to working with them hand in hand on the kind of neighborhood economic development projects. Ronan is hopeful that the Hartford's efforts will overlap with the city's efforts as part of its Hartford 2035 plan. That plan seeks improvements in time for Hartford's 400th anniversary. Live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.